There is my PC. It's a custom built Be Quiet case. And it's got water cooling for the CPU. And it's got a EVGA 1080 GTX 1080 Ti hybrid con graphics card. And it's got a water cooling on that too to keep things quiet. So I like quiet. That's why I bought a Be Quiet case. Right, so looking around the back here. I've already got two monitors plugged in. However, there should be another display port here I can use. Yeah, this is another display port right here. It's an HDMI and a display port. So I can use this. And my um, USB C is over here on this uh, silver cable. It's my USB C. I'm using it now for connecting my uh, iPad, but I can always. Uh, I can always use that uh, a different way. So, so we're going to unplug this. All right, so here's the dual cable for the uh, HP Reverb. So here's the uh, display port. We'll plug that in over here. Let's see, make sure I get it in the right direction. That one in there, okay. And the other cable is the USB C. Although, I guess this can go. This is providing power. Well, you know what? I'll just put it in here. Maybe for now, I can always adjust it later. I'm going to do it. Okay. All right, so the instructions say first connect this cord to your headset rather than plug the power. So, we're not going to do the power until we connect the headset. So. All right, so here's the headset. We gotta remove this uh, cushion. Just kind of snaps in. I think it holds in by uh, magnets. And here's the cable. It's another. Um, looks like another uh, display port cable connector. Goes in here. It's a very deep recess there. And this comes along the back and it's supposed to clip under this. Under this little clip here, and apparently people are breaking this easily, so trying to be careful with this there. I don't think it broke. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I'll clip this over. Going back on, hopefully it'll be smooth. There. Alright, so now the cable is, is uh, in good place. To get rid of that bag. All right, so now we can put the uh, cushion back on. I guess the tag is out of the way. All right, so now the headset is connected. Now we just hook up the power, and hopefully it'll power up. Here's the junction box, and then we're going to plug in the power, and that should power up the headset, I guess. All right, on the instruction sheet, it says, uh, first check for Windows updates. I did that. So my Windows 10 machine is up to date. And then it says, select start and select mixed reality portal. And this uh, screen comes up with a cool looking uh, contemporary architecture and floating rocks and stuff. So get started. I agree, of course. Two to three, two gigabytes of software on your computer. Okay, great. All right, it tells me what my computers are good. So I'm good to go. I've got a good enough uh, computer. Connect your headset. Okay, that's the next step. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't like the USB port on the back of the PC, so we're going to try USB-C port. So we're going to try one of the two of the one of the uh, USB 3.0 ports on the front. So we use the adapter to plug the USB-C cable. <laughs> that goes into the junction box, and now we're going to try powering it up. Still says connect your headset. Oh, there we go. Thank you for purchasing your HP VR headset. All right. Not sure why I didn't like the USB port in the back. I'll have to figure that out later. Okay, it tells all about the adjustment straps. 
set up the controllers. All right, it's not connected, so I need to uh, <coughs> put the uh, batteries in the controllers. So I'm going to pair the right controller by clicking this and then pushing the pairing button. All right, the right control is connected now. Okay, so let's hope it doesn't unconnect. <laughs> All right, so now we'll manually pair. I'll put the cover back on the right controller. And we'll try to manually pair the left controller. So we click this button. And then we click the pairing button on the controller until it blink, the lights blink. And then we'll un un and stop holding it. All right, they're both connected now. All right. All right, probably operator error there. Probably if I had done something differently, it would, have, it would have paired automatically, but anyway. All right, so it looks like everything's set up. So it's got the XY button and the AB button. You know what, I think I had them backwards. Okay, yeah. XY is for the left controller and AB is for the right controller. That's probably why I got messed up. All right, so it's got a grab button. It's got a trigger button. So let's see, exit, okay. I'm going to enjoy this seated. So, yeah, I'm not going to be walking around <laughs> using the headset. Definitely not. Okay, I'm sure, yeah. All right, so you've got the controllers paired. The lights are blinking. Now it's telling us to set the headset up. So one thing I want to show in the headset, it's got these blue, it's got these blue uh, co plastic covers. You want to take those off. <laughs> I don't think they specifically tell you to do that, but it's a good idea. So now we can see the actual lenses now. All right, so now, I'll switch back to the desktop recording because we're going to point the headset at the screen so they'll start using the tracking cameras to figure out where I'm looking. All right, so now it wants us to point the headset at the screen so it can use the tracking cameras, I assume, to figure out where it's looking. So we're going to center it. And... Uh, I'll fill this out, but I'm going to turn off the recording for that. All right, now it's asking us this interesting question about whether, whether it's okay for them to record everything I say and send it to their cloud computers. Of course, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> That's obvious. Now it's doing some setup. All done. If you had headphones with a mic, now it's time to plug them in. Grab your controls and put on your headset. So I have my own headphones with a mic. Uh, not really going to be using voice, I don't think. So uh, I think I'll, at least not to begin with anyway. So I'll go ahead and uh, put them on. Let's see what it's showing me here. Huh. All right, so I'm going to switch to the other camera, and we can see what we see through the lens. All right, so this is the G2. Looking through my GoPro, I have it set on linear, 1080, and 30 frames per second. If I had 24 frames per second, which is the default, it will flicker. So I'm going to look around. Put another spot there. Let's try this one. How you do it? Okay, you don't pull the trigger. All right, so I can move around, and that's pretty good. So now let's try some other things. All right, we'll try a few other things. So if we move around, we'll try going down into this little corridor here. 
into the media room and we can select a uh, program. Alright, so most of the games I want to play in VR are on Steam. And uh, so we need to install Steam VR. And the G2 is compatible with this, so it should work. So let's go ahead and install that. Desktop shortcut. Yeah. Alright, so I've already got Steam installed because I've been playing games on Steam. Download queued. Okay, well I want to I don't want to queue it. Oh, it's downloading it now down at the bottom here. Okay. All right, so we'll come back when this is done and then we'll test it and see if it works. Okay, so I put on my headset and now I see Steam VR Home on my media. I happen to be in the media room, so that was good. So we'll try to get to capture that in the in the in, in, through screen video through a headset video. Let's try that. So Steam VR Home is playing, so that's good. There we go. Alright, so you can see I have my control in front. It says toggle dashboard system click. So I'm going to click the... That's not the right one. There's the dashboard. So if you press the Windows button, it brings up the dashboard. And then we can point at stuff. Point at stuff. Let's try uh, 3D Viewer. And do I have any 3D photos on my PC? Maybe not. <laughs> so how do you go back? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we try to click on a 3D model. Alright, so I can, maybe we can zoom in on it. Alright, so I pointed on it now. I clicked on it, and now it's got uh, butterflies flying around, so that's pretty cool. And we hear sound, twinkling sound, so that's neat. All right, so Steam VR is working. Now we're going to try a game. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming, and if you want to see them, Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out and keep looking up.